traditional vector for binary rule and triple. And by for extracting binary rule, the confidence level should be at least 0 0.3. Before then, other than that, as lower than that, we basically exclude them all. And for triple rule, Harry Potter 1, Harry Potter 2, Harry Potter 3 kind of stuff, we need to have a confidence level at least 0 0.3. Because this is slightly lower, because the number of cases exist exponentially, exist, they are increased if we add one more movie in counting the combination. Okay, and mean support means that even though the confidence is pretty high, absolute number of the LMA evidence does not exceed the five, and it will be not meaningful. So we basically do not count them. Okay, and we are finding such association rule by making combination out of the users. Yeah. So for each users, we are taking each users, and each users here, we use ITER tools. ITER tool is a good tool it's a, bit, it's a pretty standard tool in Python to making combination. Making combination out of a set is not easy. So for example, we have a set of m elements, and you need to find some all subset having m elements. And there are a lot of such a cases. And maybe you can program it by yourself for finding such a subset, but it is more convenient if you're using simply using library. So here means all the movies that this user like, we are making combination having one element. Basically here, it call each element one by one. So if you have a four movie in line set, a user have four movie line set like A, B, C, D, then this iteration first take A out, B out, C out, and D out, one by one. And here, it first counts the support. It basically means, okay, for this movie, there is a one guy who likes that movie. It's a basically generating some baby data for the later set. Okay. Okay. And this is a for counting each single support. And here, we check the support that is counted in here and check how many times each movie has been liked by a user. And the number of the user who liked the movie does not exceed mean support threshold, we basically exclude such a movie out from the analysis because that has a too low number of evidence so that having them might be a risky, a risky accuracy of a punishment. Because if, it, if there is a movie, but only like three or four people likes, we cannot say something clearly, uh, we cannot some, find something clear in statistical way, statistically meaningful way. Okay, so exclude that. And here I add a print statement so that how many movies of the set of uh, are frequently in set of and we can regard this each individual movie is a frequent item of having side one. Okay? And here, so we have them in frequent set, three frequent set. And here, this is a, so far this code is finding frequent set, set of one item. And then, frequent item set of a single movie. And then we move on to finding frequent item set of a two movies. Two movies. Two movies that comes together, like together. Now how to find that? So for each users, each users, we revisit each users. And you read here, uh, Each user, we're making a combination of two. Two combination of their like set. So it, it used to be A, B, C, D, then we are finding A, B. 
AC, AD, DC, D, CDR. And then counting the pair, how many times such a pair appears? That is support two. Support to two basically count on pairs of the movies. And how frequently pair appears? Each pair appears. Okay. And after counting all the pair cases, we are checking they are the number of uh, appearance of a pair exceeds the mean support. If a pair appears less than five times, then it is too rare, so we basically just put that. And then print out the number of the frequent items that is good. So this so far is a finding frequent items of having two movies in each set. And having frequent items set of two movies kind of gives us information that what is likely that a person likes some movie and he whether he likes another movie. So for example, there is a Harry Potter one and Harry Potter two. Very frequently, these pairs come together in many users, and we find that okay. If we one guy check Harry Potter one, and he also like to check Harry Potter two, such a knowledge, or I say, this binary association rule can be obtained by observing frequent set of items besides two. We have many A and B. If we have many A and B, then we like to. A implies B, and also B implies A. If one guy has a A in his uh, uh, record, then it is very likely that B is also flavored by A. Okay, that is a frequent item of set two. And in addition to that, we are finding frequent item set having three movies. Three movies. By how? Making three combinations. Making three combinations. So if we have A, B, C, D, this one which is A, B, C, A, B, D, C, C, D. Kind of stuff. We want to make all the string cases. And then we're counting these triples on here. We're counting all these triple here. Okay. <clears throat> and if the triple does not have a does not have five elements, we exclude them. And remainder can be created by anything. So these frequent items and count become a kind of a raw data for computing confidences, which are and one thing you have in mind in doing so is that. In counting frequent items set of uh, two, before generating, sorry, before generating combination here, we here take a reduction. Check this one. So we here first check each combination of. Uh, we here check the frequency of uh, one item set, size one frequent item set. And if it is not a frequent one, uh, we can say, we here retain them only if it is a frequent one and exclude them if it is not a frequent one. Because for non-frequent one, it is a meaningless to make a combination for the next level. So we basically retain only frequent item set of size one to generate the frequent item set of two. So in generating frequent item set of uh, size three, we retain only frequent, uh, frequent item of size two. And if it is not frequent in pair, then the pair is disappear because it has no chance to make a three, triple that is an interesting uh, or I say frequent item set. So exclude that. This one dramatically reduces the amount of uh, computing time that is needed for exploring all different triple uh, pairs and all different triple and so forth. So I don't go beyond the four, three, triple, but you can go beyond the quadruple and the more than that, if it is possible. Okay. And having this reduction or not dramatically change the amount of the computation time. Uh, you can experience because you can simply comment out this part and basically enumerate all 
those peoples among the like the ten thousand, more than ten thousand, almost uh, five thousand, uh, uh, fifty thousand movies. And it was, it was it took a whole lot of time. So that was really a lot. Okay. And so here we generate the, all the support data and frequent data. Support data and frequent data are pre prepared. And I printed out the number of frequent data that is done. Okay. Then we kind of have a data for making a credit session. And we here exercise crediting a movie recommendation with the testing data. So Let's move on to the third part. Third part. Testing data. Eval testing data. Eval testing data, since we need to receive the data from the file, we open the testing the CSV and we load the data by CSV reader. Okay? And row zero. Zero is the element of the row, is user ID, second one is movie ID, and third one is the rating in real number. And fourth one is the kind, whether it is a C or Q. If it is a C, this is a given as a data. I mean, it's a given as a query. And if it is a Q, not query, sorry. This is a given as a kind of a given history for the user. And if it is a Q, then it is a problem that we want to make a query check. That is indicated by time. Okay. And we here define a new set of users because testing data has a whole different user than the training data. So we have a different set of users. And also we have a different set of likes. And question, positive and question data to cover this data. So here, we kind of, if we see a new user that added to the user set, initialize the like set for the user, and also initialize the question set. But there are two types of questions, positive and negative. Positive means the movie that this user actually liked, and I like contain them in the question positive. And question negative is the movies that this user actually does not like, right? We have them in there. And if we, the kind is a C, C here means it is a given as a kind of a data, not the question data, then we kind of have them in. If this rating is exceeding 3.0, then add it to the like set. Uh, this user like that. And if the C is a, a kind is not C, then this one means that kind is equal to Q, which means that this is a question. This is the test pressed for the predictor. Okay. So in here, this becomes a ground truth data, ground truth data. And it will be used to evaluate. <coughs> so it's a kind of ground truth. And it's important. <coughs> this data we will not be given to the prediction system, but Based on this question data, we will evaluate how good the technique works. Okay? And if the rating is a greater than pressure, then such a movie is added to the positive one for the end of question. And if it is allowed, it's added to the negative. And we prepare for the error set because we need to count how many times prediction make a crack prediction and also how many times they make a false prediction, <coughs> error set, and we will show you in confusion metric for that, confusion metric. I will explain it later. Okay. okay. So let's check this one. So after the, all the data is prepared, what it does is iterate it on users. Iterate it on users. And we see if it's a user's like movie as a profile profile given to the movie recommendation system. If it is a Netflix, the list of the movie that you liked it so far become your profile, user's profile. And for each question for the user, this one is indicated by the data. For the positive question, <coughs> check this one. I can rewrite this one into here. Which 